Hi everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a technician here at Flagship One and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install a computer on this Saturn L series and how to cycle in the keys and get it running. The first step is going to be to disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Anytime you're working with installation of electronic components on your vehicle, you wanna to try to minimize any chance of risk. So the best way to do that would be to disconnect the negative terminal. So we'll start off by doing that. And once we have that removed, we will go on to the engine computer. So once our negative terminal has been removed and safely secured away from the post so that you don't risk it touching again and completing the circuit, the next step will be to remove these connectors, which you can simply do by pushing on these tabs you'll find right here, and that will push this back piece out and then allow you to pull it the rest of the way and the connector pops off. You may notice that the connection doesn't look exactly like yours on your vehicle, and that's fine. Some of them are designed different, but the principle is usually the same where there's gonna be a locking tab that you'll have to remove. At this point, we can remove the screws that mount the computer to the engine and then swap the computer out. Now, on this vehicle, it's important to know that the engine acts as the ground for the computer. So you need to make sure, for this module at least, that these screws are all in and they're tightened and there's no corrosion or anything on there that could inhibit that ground circuitry from connecting to the computer and therefore keep the computer from running. So we'll start off just by removing these, on this case, eight millimeter bolts. And once we have these removed, we'll be able to install the next one. Now we've installed the computer, we have reconnected our battery, and at this point we're going to move to the step where we get to cycle in the key to complete the security process and then allow the vehicle to start. So we'll continue that right inside. Now that we're in the vehicle, what we're going to do is we're going to put the key into the ignition and we're going to turn it to the run position, not to start, just to the run position. That'll be two clicks. And you will notice a security light will be lit and it will be solid on your instrument cluster. The solid security light on the instrument cluster signifies that the vehicle is in essentially a mode where it will learn the key that is in there and it will allow you to cycle this new computer into there. Um, you may see a security light, it may be a picture of a lock, it's different on every vehicle, but the principle is the same. As long as the light is solid, then that means that it is in a learned mode, if you will. Um, if you have a blinking light, on the other hand, then that means that the security system is active and the car will not start and you will not be doing any cycling. That could be caused by a problem with the module, it could be caused with a problem with the instrument cluster, with the key that you're using, it all depends on what issue you're trying to fix. But in this case, we're just gonna wait. This light will turn itself off in 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, we'll be cycling the key off and then back on, and we will be greeted with another solid security light for another 10 minutes. We'll repeat that process one more time, and after 30 minutes, we should be able to get the car started. We have cycled the key for three times. The light has turned itself off the final time. And at this point, we should be able to put the key into the ignition and turn it to the on position. And you will notice the security light will first be lit, but it will turn itself off and you will be able to start the car. And there you go. And that wraps it up. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us via our website at fs1inc.com or at any of our various social media platforms, including Facebook and Instagram. And thanks for watching.